Good evening. The Charter Township of Plymouth Board of Trustees meeting for Tuesday, June 12, 2018 will come to order. Mr. Clerk, please take the roll. Trustee Dempsey. Present. Clerk Forba here. Trustee Dorshevitz. Here. Trustee Heitman. Here. Trustee uh, Kermy. Here. Treasurer Clinton. Here. Supervisor Heising. Here. All present. We have a quorum. Thank you. Uh, next, the Pledge of Allegiance will be led tonight by our own Bob Dorshevitz. <laughs> I pledge allegiance. Bob. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Uh, prior to the approval of the agenda, I do want to recognize our, one of our former supervisors, Maury Breen, who is in the back row today. So uh, thank you. <laughs> Next up is the approval of the agenda. Any comments or questions? Hearing none, I need a motion. Mr. Supervisor, I move we approve the agenda. Motion's made by Trustee Heitman. Is there a second? Second. Second by Clerk Forval. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Next up is item D, approval of the consent agenda. Any comments or questions from the board? I did. Hearing no questions or comments, I need an approval to uh, do the consent agenda. Mr. Supervisor. Mr. Clerk. I move for the approval of the consent agenda. Motion's been made by Clerk Borba. Is there a second? Second. A second by Trustee Heitman. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Thank you. Next up is item E, public comments and questions. This is not your only opportunity during the night to, to have public comments and questions. We encourage um, comments and questions on all agenda items as long as they're relevant to that particular agenda item. Uh, but this is more of the open period for public comments and questions. There will be another opportunity at the end of the meeting. So, any public comments or questions at this time? Good evening. Hi, Mary Wydell, uh, 50439 Fellows Hill Drive. Um, a couple months ago, I requested at a Plymouth Township board meeting that the board conduct an independent feasibility study to find out the financial viability of the PARC current building and the proposed new orchestra hall. Has this been discussed, considered, or pursued by the board? There have been multiple studies done uh, by the park uh, board that uh, brought this matter to our attention and we have had numerous public hearings and public discussions regarding this project since February so and you've attended most of them so the answer is no there has not been an independent feasibility study on behalf of Plymouth Township not conducted by Plymouth Township government why not uh, because other studies have been done Okay. And we um, conducted our due diligence through a series of public hearings over many months. Public hearings are different than a study, a feasibility study by an independent firm that has experience in this, in this area. Uh, most of the time when communities uh, have a project such as this that is $30 million, um, they have more than one feasibility study or more than one um, uh, study that's done uh, to evaluate uh, whether or not it's, it's going to be uh, viable. Um, another concern I've had is we are spending a lot of time analyzing the township golf course when the board is not conducting an investigation or research on the financial stability or viability of an orchestra hall in the PARC commercial rental facility. The golf course might cost us an extra 100000 a year, but we are being asked to fund $1 million a year for the new orchestra hall and central middle school building renovations in the proposal that will be coming up on the tax ballot in November. Canton Township spent years studying and planning their village theater, which seats 400 and cost $11.4 million to construct in 2003. Plymouth Township Board has conducted 
no f similar feasibility studies and is leading the township into this agreement tonight. If a 400 seat theater costs 11.4 million to build 15 years ago, and the estimate for the 800 seat park the orchestra hall is only 14 million, this should be a warning that their numbers are way off. The PARC orchestra hall is most likely a 20 to $25 million building, considering it is much greater in size, height, structural requirements, and especially with today's high demand for construction firms. Also, the Plymouth School Canton District, Plymouth Canton School District estimated it would cost $26 million to renovate Central Middle School, which was why they decided to sell it. How is it going to cost us $30 million to both renovate the school and build a theater that is twice the seating of an $11.4 million theater? There, then there's a lack of demand and use of Canton Village Theater just a few miles from Plymouth Township. Canton is losing between $500,000 and $1 million a year on their theater. How can we really expect anything different just a few miles away and think it is a good idea to spend at least $20 million of township residents' tax money on this project? Of note, there's only two theater production performances at Cherry Hill Theater in June and two in July. As I stand here today reviewing what Canton has and is going through, I predict the park orchestra hall and commercial rental building will be operating in a deficit in the near future. Plymouth City and township residents will soon wake up and realize we are being um, misled by, losing, by this losing venture and debt it will cause us all. Do we want to be in the same situation as Canton Township residents and forced to pay to subsidize this? Next, um, Mr. Sonin claims to have $6 million in pledges for this project. This is not money in hand. There should be a stipulation that this funding be in hand and turned over before any millage vote goes on the ballot or authority is established. This is easily walked away from. The township board is again rushed into this without due diligence. This needs to be done right or not involve township in a debt creating money pit like Canton has. There is a claim that there is only one, there will only be one tax for this project. I've heard it at many of the meetings. But the Articles of Incorporation have statements in it that provide for future new taxes as set forth in Act 321. Which is it? This is not an interrogation. Um, you're over your time limit, and the document speaks for itself. I would refer you to the document. I think you're mistaken. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Any other comments or questions at this time? Yes, sir. Chris Fertelli, Plymouth Township President. Since the subject of PARK came up, I have a question. I was watching the government uh, channel the other day. We have problems with updating fire trucks, ambulances, re, uh, or hiring police personnel, hiring firefighters, requiring new ambulances. Why are we even considering a millage for PARC when we've got these expenses of our own. PARC is somebody's pipe dream out there where they want to put in a 300 or a 850 or whatever seat auditorium. You know, do we really need it? One of the meetings that I had attended, Mr. Soren said, made a statement that Canton Township was too small, losing money. Dearborn had an auditorium was too big, losing money. And this one is right size, that 800 or whatever seats. You know, what guarantee do we have that this is going to be self-sufficient with our tax dollars? From what I understand, the Central Middle School has tenants over there now who are paying to update their lease space at their expense and we're asked to subsidize this facility with our tax dollars it just doesn't make any sense folks you know let's keep our interest and our money in the township here for our needs 
fire, police, ambulance, and the equipment that's required to run these facilities. <laughs> the, the presentation that I saw says in 2025, we're going to be running out of money. Okay? And here, we're asking, going to be asked for money for something that, you know, is not a necessity. So let's put our money worth, worth, you know, putting into our safety. Thank you. Thank you. Any other comments or questions at this time? Yes, sir. I'm John Griffin, Plymouth Township. Uh, what I'd like to say is that you guys were elected to be the guardians and administrators of our tax dollars. Most people in this township probably have no idea about this park. They have no idea they're being put at risk for a millage that if it's voted to be approved on could cost them over $20 million in the next 20 years. This will be passed. If you go to it, they'll have no idea what you're talking about. It'll show up on a ballot. They'll have no idea what you're talking about. But you are the people that we put in place to make the decisions for the people that are too busy with their work, too busy raising their families, and too busy with their lives to make the decisions for us as taxpayers that other people just don't kind of pay attention to. Now, the last meeting I was at, I understand that we have a gap in our pensions, which I'm assuming we still do, that has to be paid for. Is that correct? I also know, Kurt, from everything I've read, you want more money for safety, you want more money for improvements in the township, and that's fine. But to sit and even consider approving something that's going to put the rest of it at risk for 20 years is not a good use of what you were hired to do. This is a private enterprise. You can say whatever you want about a governing authority. It's a bunch of people trying to put a theater in place that, and I agree with the young lady over there, that have never worked, that they never will. There's no plan B. If this doesn't succeed, are they going to come back and ask for another quarter of a point of millage on top of the point seven five they're already asking for? I mean, the taxpayers of this township expect you to do what's best for them. And when something like this comes up that puts us on the line for $20, 25000000 million, I, I can't even see how you would consider approving the formation of an authority, knowing the way life is that the majority of the people in the township don't even know what you're talking about. And I just do not think you should pass it. I don't think you should consider it. And I think you should take our tax dollars and put them to funding our pensions and improving the safety and other things that this township needs. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Any other comments or questions at this time? Yes, sir. Yeah. It's really, an, it's kind of open at this point, but uh, sure. Uh, my name is Walt Coleman, 9130 Woodbury in Plymouth. Forgive me, I just had time to print this up and come here after work. So... It says here, under Article 1, that the township and the city will become one body, basically, as far as decisions made. That's not true at all. I don't know, well, where you're, what, I don't know here, what you're reading. It shall be a public body corporate. Yeah, it's it an authority. Right it's a public authority under state law. All right. Purpose, to acquire, construct, operate, maintain, and improve the park complex. I had brought up concerns before at the meeting that they had at the library several weeks ago as far as taxpayers being on the hook down the road for improvements and all that stuff and if the park fails and doesn't generate the projected business that it says and everything as far as we're going to be on the hook to maintain this stuff. This is screaming to me that that's going to be part of what this is about. Furthermore, if you take a look at the intentions of the park itself that it's for recreation and everything like that, as far as being a tax-paying body here, 
I don't see why the township people should be on the hook and everything like that for recreation and stuff like this down the road. Now, I know Mr. Sunan has come back and said that, oh, I can't foresee this happening where it will be on the taxpayers. I can't foresee this not being a profitable venture and all that stuff. But it's the unforeseen that concerns me in all of this. Furthermore, if you actually take a look at where this is going to go down the road, during the special meeting you had several weeks ago, I was watching it on TV because I couldn't be here in that, and it said that originally the, pr the prospectus for this was to go for 20 years. All of a sudden it came back up and Mr. Suna was standing right here, and all of a sudden I remember Mr. Heise, you actually sitting there and saying that, oh, well this might be for 30 years. So which is it? For 20, 30, 35 years? I don't know what quotes you're attributing to me. The state law allows for 20 years. Okay. So also with this too, the projections that were made on the taxable resources for this coming from the community, did the numbers that Mr. Suna also put forward um, represent increase in taxes and that based on Headley Amendment and everything and the standard 5% increase we have on state equalized value every year? Were projections made according to that or strictly according to current market value? Well, the, I don't believe that under Prop A, I don't think taxes have ever been assessed at 5% because well, it it's the rate of inflation. It's the rate of inflation. Of and that's it not happened. Doesn't mean it won't. Plus, Headley is diminishing every tax that gets voted on every, every year. Every tax gets diminished by a certain percentage by Headley. Okay. So finally, as the previous gentleman said there too, why is this body sitting here and supposed to be representing the township, and the township is put in as far as taxpayers, why is this being pushed forward to us and everything to increase our taxes for basically amusement? We're sitting here, we're way behind on what we owe for firefighters and all that stuff. We have roads that are a mess in Michigan, and everything's going to go up with taxes by 2020. We also, have, we also have DTE sitting here and going voluntarily now. They're going to full renewable energies on stuff. That's going to raise our bills and everything like that. Mr. Heise, you and I live in the same subdivision. Our roads are a mess. I've been going to the township meetings relative to that, and basically the state won't come in and everything, and they say, oh, we're going to have to assess property taxes to fix the roads in our subdivision. We have all these bills coming up. I don't know what you're talking about. The roads are controlled by Wayne County. That's not true because we've had, when we come here okay. for the township meetings and everything once a year and everything like that, they keep sitting here and saying the town, the state will only come in if we assess taxes to our, to the homeowners and everything like that to come up with a certain percentage of it and everything before they'll step in and do it. Wayne, Wayne County is currently making $388,000 available to neighborhoods that do special assessment districts. The right. state of Michigan is not a, a player in that process. Okay, so then why, why then in our township meetings are, I'm always hit with this assessment and everything that, oh, we could be assessed a $10,000 increase to fix our roads. The yeah. subdivision next door to us already went through with that, and their roads are crumbling again and everything, and they had to pay like a yeah. $9,000. Yeah, and they they did an SAD under, under state law and township ordinance, and they got the petitions, and they walked into that with their eyes wide open. So okay. our neighborhood has not done an SAD. Okay. But again, with all the arrears that we in the township are in and everything like that, why are we even considering okay. it? Why? Okay. Thank you. Anybody else? This is just the open part here. Okay. Very good. Oh, yes, sir. Hello, my name is Dean Rice, a longtime resident. I'd just like to reiterate what some of the other people are saying. I just don't think we should be involved in an orchestra. I don't feel it will enhance our community. I think there's other things that we need to worry about a lot more than that. Okay, thanks. All right, anyone else under this portion of public comment? All right, very good. Let's move on to item F1. This is the approval of the para articles of incorporation. Uh, any comments or questions by the board at this time? Mr. Dempsey? As I mentioned when this first came up on February 27th, um, I'm asking you all to 
vote under the Charter Township Act to allow me to abstain from voting. Um, I've sought counsel. Um, I've called the Michigan Townships Association. I've come to the conclusion, as I did in February, that um, for me to participate in a yay or nay vote on this would involve a conflict of interest. I did look back to see if there were any precedents, and back in uh, November of 2016, um, a matter came up, and Trustee Mann requested that the board allow him to abstain because his law firm was involved in that matter, as is my firm in this. So I would respectfully request that uh, you allow me to abstain from voting on this matter. A facility like Park has the ability to transform a downtown that is already a destination. To have this facility restored, to have it full of life and almost at full occupancy in just a couple short years, I think proves the power of an arts and recreation complex and, and what that can mean to a community like Plymouth. It provides essential services and it fills in many of those recreation and, and cultural gaps that, that we at the township level can't provide. I think the park is one of those unique things that we have an opportunity to preserve. I've become a township resident uh, 12 years. I want to voice again my concerns about the TARC estimates for their uh, project uh, of building a new theater and renovating the school for uh, businesses. Uh, in doing some some research online for recent structures similar to a performing arts center, um, orchestra hall type building. Um, our estimate that we've been provided from uh, Don Soren, Soren seems to be uh, quite low, especially since the Canton Township uh, Theater cost over $11 million to build in 2003, and it seats half the number that the proposed one in uh, the PARC complex is going to seat at 800 seats. Um, 11 million to 14 million. At, that leaves $3 million to put 400 more seats in a building and also a balcony, which the Can Theater does not have. In Auburn, Alabama, a construction of a new uh, performing Arts Center started last year. 1,200 seats. $50 million. Just astonishing that we could build a, an 800-seat theater for $14 million. This really needs some examination before it is put for a vote before the people. Because we're going to get hit again for this when the real cost comes in. The real cost of building an 800-seat theater is not $14 million. Plus, there are $6 million in pledges that are supposed to go towards this project, and there's been no talk of how we're going to guarantee those come in, or are we going to go back to the taxpayers and ask for more money? When we get a shovel in the ground on this project, it's too late. The township residents will pay again to make up the difference of this. It's not a $30 million project. It's going to be a $50 million project. One question I have is, when reviewing everything that, that has been developed, what, what engineering firm, what architectural firm is the one that supplied the cost for the renovations to, to the middle school and also the new construction of the theater and all the other facilities, the parking lots and everything. Your time is up. Thank you. No, that was a question. You'll have to ask Mr. Sony. But you guys all reviewed the report from him, right? Your time is up. But that was a question. You'll have to ask Mr. Sony. We've been having this debate for six months. I never have asked that question before. I've never answered it before. So your time is up. So if you read the report from the PARC development, who is the architectural or engineering firm that supplied the cost? 
you'll have to ask Mr. Sonin, and your time is up. Thank you. You will have an opportunity to speak again at the end of the no, meeting. No, this was a question and answer period, and I Thank asked you. a question and deserve an answer. Thank you. Anybody else? Thank you. Next up is new business item F1, reappointment of Dennis Sabolski to the Planning Commission for a three-year term. <coughs> Any comments or questions? I don't think he's here. So. Anybody else have comments or questions on F1? I have a motion. Uh, oh. Uh, you ready? I was just going to make a comment uh, on, bo on both of these uh, gentlemen, uh, Dennis and, and Bill. So um, it's a really good. I just have uh, one request uh, in the spirit of uh, transparency and, and information. Uh, I would like to request that the township have uh, the PARC documents uh, posted to the township website relating to their business plan, uh, any studies, including cost estimates, design plans, and scope of work for construction of all the projects that would be covered by the millage. Um, is that something that would be considered? No, because I'm afraid that that would be a violation of campaign finance law. It would be considered that we are advocating on behalf of, uh, of the ballot proposal. So I would refer you to uh, probably the PARC uh, website, uh, or unless they create an independent ballot committee to, uh, to promote the, uh, the initiative. So there's no way that the citizens can get this information from the township? It's not what I said. Um, I said that if we were to put that information on our website, it could be construed as an endorsement by the township. So there's a link on the township's website to the PARC now? Yeah, there is, because it's, they, are, uh, they are providing services in the community right now. I mean, that it is not to inform, vote, it's not to inform the public about the, uh, the, the millage or what would be going into the para uh, uh, project. I mean, it is, a, it is a website right now. It's my understanding. I haven't been there in a while, but it's my understanding it just takes you to the, to the PARC uh, website. But Kurt, are we going to have to remove that link during the election? I would say no, unless they're advocating. I, I don't know if Park has a separate uh, website for advocating for the for the millage or not. Well, it's, it's not advocating, but it's providing information so citizens can make an informed decision. Well, then we can keep the PARC website up, but I, I'm not sure if we if we provide information. I, I think we would have to be very cautious about how we do that so that we're not accused of, uh, of advocating. It's a very, it's a very difficult uh, process for local governments to use taxpayer resources to inform the, the, the pendulum when, it, when it, informing can become advocacy very quickly, in the, especially in the eyes of people who uh, may be opponents to the particular initiative. So it will be fairly difficult or just not easy for the average citizen to get this information? Well, once again, you're mischaracterizing my remarks, but um, <coughs> it, the, I believe that there will be a very spirited election between now and November where the public will have all of the information they need, both pro and con. I understand the opposition is already recruiting uh, volunteers, so um, you know, I'm sure that both sides will get their points out. So how, how do I get this information? Uh, well, Mr. Sonin could probably point you in the right direction, or maybe there will be a committee. I do not know if there's going to be a committee formed uh, to advocate on behalf of the millage or, or against. No, nobody's been registered yet that I know of. Because there is serious concerns with the, F, the cost estimates of the project and it being um, very underestimated. Okay. Why, don't you, why don't you go and meet with him, and he'll show you the construction estimates, because you Googled well, how much just, does it cost to build a theater, and then yeah. you came up here and said, I Googled it, and I found that his estimates are wrong. Why don't you go meet with him? He'll show I, you everything. I am willing to meet with him, yes, if, it's it. the, if that's the only way to get the information. Just but go meet with him. Not all 28,000 Plymouth Township residents can go to him and get this information. We need this information more readily available, and it's only fair that we 
be provided it. We'll give it to you. You no, can I'm, put it I'm on your website. I'm not saying just for me. I'm saying for everybody. Then yeah. Everybody is going to be paying. And then you can put it on your website. Your friends can put it on their Facebook page. He'll give it to you. Right, Don? That works. Bob. I'm, I'm not arguing about okay. him giving it to me or not. I'm saying We're, this is information right. that should yeah, be available we need to, respect, to all We need to respect township. people that come in here and, and have Residence. a different po point of view than I, I, maybe Oh, others. I think we've I been very respectful. That. But, but we're, also it, over, we're also over time here on but, this one. But, but uh, he keeps getting the answer to the question. He keeps answering the same question. Just go meet with the guy. So, okay. We, sorry. But it, in transparency of we're this, way over this time. proposal that yeah. it will, this information will not be available to all citizens unless they go personally meet with Don. No, that's it's another mischaracterization. So well, your time is up. Sorry. Good night. Don. Yeah, I won't need three minutes. Don soon. Uh, yeah, the information is obviously available. It's in my office. We've met with all kinds of groups. We will be putting out more information. Anybody who wants to know line item by line item on the cost structure on this, it is available. A lot of that information is on our website. Uh, but we're talking about hundreds and hundreds of pages of information. It does take some interpretation and consolidation. Newman Smith is the architectural firm as well as TMP. And uh, we've got good cost estimates on it. Shaw Construction has been working with them on that. Did you say uh, Shaw Construction? Shaw Construction is a contractor. Uh, they're on our board of directors. Uh, and they're very experienced in these kinds of things. So uh, we've got some pretty good cost estimates. Of course, there's always some assumptions along the way. We also have, uh, you know, the plan Bs on some things to make sure that we end up in some cost uh, situations that we have, have things that we can do to control that. We've built facilities. We've got very experienced architectural firms that have done very detailed cost studies. That information is available to anybody that wants it. And as PARA gets established and gets up and operating, they will be very, very much involved. The township appoints four directors. The city appoints three directors. Those folks will be very much engaged in all of these decisions, cost evaluations, and the like. So I think there will be very, very good oversight. But the citizens of the community are very welcome to come in at any time. Uh, we will be having a series of forums going forward too, so everyone will have an opportunity to see what's going on there. So any other questions? Don, yeah, um, well, I'm just, all right. Uh, yeah, I forgot. The, yeah, it's late. Yeah. You know, on our website, we've got the executive summaries of all the various studies that have been done. But you've seen, I think everyone on the board has seen all the studies that were done by SRR, by the Anderson Economic Group. It's not just our information. A very professional outside firms have weighed in on these things, the market studies, the business plan, and all of that information is available to anyone in the community. Don, how can the PARA have the language in two weeks for the November election? How is that going to get done? It'll be done. I already have the first draft. Because people aren't appointed yet. What's that? We're ready, as we have done with the other documents, with the articles, the bylaws, and things like that. There's already been work done on, on working on millage language. Of course, it's going to have to be approved and, and proposed by the by the board. Hopefully, they, those appointments will be made soon. But we already got a good start on that. The plan is to have those uh, names before the board, the recommendations on uh, July 10th. Yeah, I mean that needs to get done. We need to do the filing by the end of July. And, uh, you know, we got some work to do. But it, that leaves it them about done. two weeks after being appointed. Well, when's, yes. the, when's the city commission going to make their appointments? Uh, they are on the, uh, let's see, two days later, I believe, right around the same time. Uh, yeah. two, uh, two days, either July Monday 14th. or Tuesday. Uh, it's, well, obviously a, on a Monday. No, I think Monday. it is probably the 14th. What's the day I know they're meeting? working on uh, making their appointments as well. Our meeting would be on the 10th. So theirs would be on the 9th? No. A week later. A week later. So 16th. that would be the Monday after. The Monday after. 16th. Yeah, Monday yeah. after, six days later. Maybe they'll approve the agreement with us then. Yep. Okay. Okay. All right. Anybody else? We're all set? Okay. I need a motion to adjourn. Mr. Supervisor, I move we adjourn. Motion is made by Trustee Heitman. Is there a second? I second it at 10.30 p.m. By... Uh, <laughs> Trustee Dempsey with editorial comments. All those in favor signify by saying aye. aye. aye.
I just have uh, one request uh, in the spirit of uh, transparency and, and information. Uh, I would like to request that the township have uh, the KARC documents uh, posted to the township website relating to their business plan, uh, any studies, including cost estimates, design plans, and scope of work for construction of all the projects that would be covered by the millage. Um, is that something that would be considered? No, because I'm afraid that that would be a violation of campaign finance law. It would be considered that we are advocating on behalf of, uh, of the ballot proposal. So I would refer you to uh, probably the PARC uh, website, uh, or unless they create an independent ballot committee to, uh, to promote the, uh, the initiative. So there's no way that the citizens can get this information from the township? It's not what I said. Um, I said that if we were to put that information on our website, it could be construed as an endorsement by the township. So there's a link on the township's website to the PARC now? Yeah, there is, because it's, they are uh, they're providing services in the community right now. I mean, that it is not to inform vote, it's not to inform the public about the uh, the, the millage or what would be going into the para uh, uh, project. I mean, it is, a, it is a website right now. It's my understanding. I haven't been there in a while, but it's my understanding it just takes you to the, to the PARC uh, website. Well, Kurt, are we going to have to remove that link during the election? I would say no unless they're advocating. I, I don't know if Park has a separate uh, website for advocating for the, for the millage or not. Well, it's not advocating, but it's providing information so citizens can make an informed decision. Well, then we can keep the PARC website up, but I'm, I'm not sure if we, if we provide information, I, I think we would have to be very cautious about how we do that so that we're not accused of, uh, of advocating. It's a very, it's a very difficult uh, process for local governments to use taxpayer resources to inform the, the, the pendulum when, it, when it, informing can become advocacy very quickly, in the, especially in the eyes of people who uh, may be opponents to the particular initiative. So it will be fairly difficult or just not easy for the average citizen to get this information? Well, once again, you're mischaracterizing my remarks, but um, <clears throat> it, the, I believe that there will be a very spirited election between now and November where the public will have all of the information they need, both pro and con. I understand the opposition is already recruiting uh, volunteers, so um, you know I'm sure that both sides will get their points out. So how, how do I get this information? Uh, well, Mr. Sonnen could probably point you in the right direction, or maybe there will be a committee. I do not know if there's going to be a committee formed uh, to advocate on behalf of the millage or, or against. No, nobody's been registered yet that I know of. Because there is serious concerns with the, F, the cost estimates of the project and it being um, very underestimated. Okay. Why, don't you, why don't you go and meet with him, and he'll show you the construction estimates, because you Googled well, how much should... does it cost to build a theater, and then yeah. you came up here and said, I Googled it, and I found that his estimates are wrong. Why don't you go meet with him? He'll show I, you everything. I am willing to meet with him, yes, if, it's it. the, if that's the only way to get the information. Just but go meet with him. Not all 28,000 Plymouth Township residents can go to him and get this information. We need this information more readily available, and it's only fair that we be provided it. He'll give it to you. you no, can I'm, put it I'm on not your saying website. just for me. I'm saying for everybody. And then yeah. you can everybody put it on is going to be paying. And then you can put it on your website, and your friends can put it on their Facebook page. He'll give it to you. Right, Don? That works. Bob. I'm, I'm not arguing about okay. him giving it to me or not. I'm saying We're, this is information right. that should yeah, be available we need to, respect, to all We need to respect concept. people that come in here and, and have Resident. a different po point of view than I, maybe I, Oh, I think we've I been very respectful. That. But we're also, it, over, we're also over time here on but, this but, one. But, but he keeps getting the answer to the question. He keeps answering the same question. Just go meet with the guy. So, okay. Sorry. But it, in transparency of We're this, way over this time. proposal that 
yeah. it will, this information will not be available to all citizens unless they go personally meet with Doc. No, it's, it's another mischaracterization. So well, your time is up. Sorry. Good night. Don? Yeah, I won't need three minutes. Don soon. Uh, yeah, the information is obviously available. It's in my office. We've met with all kinds of groups. We will be putting out more information. Anybody who wants to know line item by line item on the cost structure on this, it is available. A lot of that information is on our website, uh, but we're talking about hundreds and hundreds of pages of information. It does take some interpretation and consolidation. Newman Smith is the architectural firm as well as TMP, and uh, we've got good cost estimates on it. Shaw Construction has been working with them on that. Did you say uh, Shaw Construction? Shaw Construction is a contractor. Uh, they're on our board of directors, uh, and they're very experienced in these kinds of things. So uh, we've got some pretty good cost estimates. Of course, there's always some assumptions along the way. We also have, uh, you know, the plan Bs on some things to make sure that we end up in some cost uh, situations that we have, have things that we can do to control that. We've built facilities. We've got very experienced architectural firms that have done very detailed cost studies. That information is available to anybody that wants it. And as PARA gets established and gets up and operating, they will be very, very much involved. The township appoints four directors. The city appoints three directors. Those folks will be very much engaged in all of these decisions, cost evaluations, and the like. So I think there will be very, very good oversight. But the citizens of the community are very welcome to come in at any time. Uh, we will be having a series of forums going forward too, so everyone will have an opportunity to see what's going on there. So any other questions? Don, yeah, um, well, I'm just, all right. Uh, yeah, I forgot. The, it's late. Yeah. You know, on our website, we've got the executive summaries of all the various studies that have been done, but you've seen, I think everyone on the board has seen all the studies that were done by SRR, by the Anderson Economic Group. It's not just our information. Uh, very professional outside firms have weighed in on these things, the market studies, the business plan, and all of that information is available to anyone in the community. Don, how can the PARA have the language in two weeks for the November election? How is that going to get done? It'll be done. I already have the first Because the people aren't appointed yet. What's that? We were ready, as we have done with the other documents, with the articles, the bylaws, and things like that. There's already been work done on, on working on millage language, of course. It's going to have to be approved and, and proposed by the, by the board. Hopefully they, those appointments will be made soon, but we already got a good start on that. The plan is to have those uh, names before the board, the recommendations, on uh, July 10th. Yeah, I mean, that needs to get done. We need to do the filing by the end of July. And, uh, you know, we got some work to do. But it, that leaves it them about two weeks after being appointed. Well, when's, yes. the, when's the city commission going to make their appointments? Uh, they are on the, uh, let's see, two days later, I believe, right around the same time. Uh, yeah. two, uh, two days, either July Monday 14th? or Tuesday. Uh, it, well, they obviously a, on a Monday, no, I think Monday. it is probably the 14th. What's the day I know they're meeting? working on uh, making their appointments as well. Our meeting would be on the 10th. So theirs would be on the 9th? No. A week later. A week later. So that would be the Monday after. The Monday after. 16th. Yeah, Monday yeah. after, six days later. Maybe they'll approve the agreement with us then. Yep. Okay. Okay. All right. Anybody else? We're all set? Okay. I need a motion to adjourn. Mr. Supervisor, I move we adjourn. Motion is made by Trustee Heitman. Is there a second? I second it at 10.30 p.m. By, uh, <laughs> yeah, I won't need three minutes. Mm -hmm. Not soon enough. Uh, yeah, the information is obviously available. It's in my office. We've met with all kinds of groups. We will be putting out more information. Anybody who wants to know line item by line item on the cost structure on this, it is available. A lot of that information is on our website, uh, but we're talking about hundreds and hundreds of pages of information. It does take some interpretation and consolidation. Newman Smith is the architectural firm as well as TMP. And uh, we've got good cost estimates on it. Shaw Construction has been working with them on that. Did you say uh, Shaw Construction? Shaw Construction is a contractor. Uh, they're on our board of directors. 
uh, and they're very experienced in these kinds of things. So uh, we've got some pretty good cost estimates. Of course, there's always some assumptions along the way. We also have, uh, you know, the plan Bs on some things to make sure that we end up in some cost uh, situations that we have, have things that we can do to control that. We've built facilities. We've got very experienced architectural firms that have done very detailed cost studies. That information is available to anybody that wants it. And as PARA gets established and gets up and operating, they will be very, very much involved. The township appoints four directors. The city appoints three directors. Those folks will be very much engaged in all of these decisions, cost evaluations, and the like. So I think there will be very, very good oversight but the citizens of the community are very welcome to come in at any time. Uh, we will be having a series of forums going forward, too, so everyone will have an opportunity to see what's going on there. So any other questions? Don, yeah, um, well, I'm just, all right. Uh, yeah, I forgot. The, it's late. Yeah. You know, on our website, we've got the executive summaries of all the various studies that have been done. But you've seen, I think everyone on the board has seen all the studies that were done by SRR, by the Anderson Economic Group. It's not just our information. A very professional outside firms have weighed in on these things, the market studies, the business plan, and all of that information is available to anyone in the community. Don, how can the PARA have the language in two weeks for the November election? How is that going to get done? It'll be done. Already have the first draft. Because people aren't appointed yet. What's that? We're already, as we have done with the other documents, with the articles, the bylaws, and things like that. There's already been work done on, on working on Millie's language. Of course, it's going to have to be approved and, and proposed by the by the board. Hopefully, they, those appointments will be made soon. But we already got a good start on that. The plan is to have those uh, names before the board. The recommendations on uh, July 10th. Yeah, I mean that needs to get done. We need to do the filing by the end of July, and uh, you know we got some work to do. But it, that leaves it them about two weeks after being appointed. Well, when's yes. the when's the city commission going to make their appointments? Uh, they are on the uh, let's see, two days later, I believe, right around the same time. Uh, yeah. Two uh, two days, either July Monday 14th. Or on Tuesday. Uh, it's well, obviously have a, on a Monday. No, I think Monday. it is probably the 14th. What's the day I know they're our working meeting? on uh, making their appointments as well. Our meeting would be on the 10th. So theirs would be on the 9th? No. There would a week be. later. A week later. So that would be the Monday after. The Monday after. 16th. Yeah, Monday yeah. after, six days later. Maybe they'll approve the agreement with us then. Yep. Okay. Okay. All right. Anybody else? We're all set? Okay. I need a motion to adjourn. Mr. Supervisor, I move we adjourn. Motion is made by Trustee Heitman. Is there a second? I second it at 10.30 p.m. By uh, <laughs> Trustee Dempsey with editorial comments. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. aye.